What is up, everybody? And welcome back to another Naraka Update Day! It's November 14th or 13th, depending on um, what time zone you're in. Um, I'm actually a day late getting to it myself. So, we got brand new content coming out. Uh, some, I believe, an extension of the Halloween event. And a brand new Yoto skin! Which is awesome. We have Have a Nice Dream. I am by your side. May you have sweet dreams tonight from November 14th to December 5th. The uh, event rules, the seven ornaments will unlock in sequence over time after each ornament unlocked time. You can complete the three quests of corresponding to the ornament. Completing an ornament quest rewards you with Teddy Knight. Collect a certain amount of Teddy Knights to receive various rewards. The quest will not refresh during the event and progress will be a continuously accumulated limited time event the 2024 naraka j cup is in full swing with top players from worldwide competing the events include warriors of faith from november 22nd to december 14th earn tickets by completing daily quest and fan light sticks by watching or predicting matches use these items to redeem rare in-game rewards and redeem gift section. Each tier of gifts on the redeem page requires uh, specified amounts of both tickets and fan light sticks to redeem. During the J Cup from November 26th to December 15th, tap watch now to participate in platforms match watching events and earn fan light sticks. Each player can earn up to two each day during the group stage and up to five during the scoring stage and up to 10 during the grand final. So you got lots of opportunity to go and check those out from november 23rd to december 15th uh tap to predict to participate in match prediction events and earn more light sticks uh the point can be exchanged for exclusive uh weapon skin banner j cup plus a slew of other rewards during the j cup spend gold and spectral silk to purchase the j cup boost pack getting extra points to upgrade race against time j cup and obtaining commemorative coins commemorative coins can be exchanged for match prediction points we also have the event Divine Convergence uh, from November 22nd to December 18th. Players can collect custom cosmetics from previous champions to exchange for HP. HP can be used in Road to Glory to obtain event rewards. Each cosmetic grants different HP and can only be claimed once. During the 24 uh, Naraka J Cup custom cosmetics for previous champions will be available in the store at a limited time discount. Don't miss out. And we have the event Road to Glory from November 22nd to the December 18th. Participate in the Road to Glory event on the official esports uh, website obtain stamina and complete quest to earn many rare rewards how to obtain stamina get for free every week obtained by completing quizzes in support of your favorite teams and obtain through the divine convergence event and then we have phantom rave given the pos positive feedback on the dance parties we have decided to extend the event till december 4th and added a new exchange reward gesture moving dance shadows sway in the night endless laughter echoing through the immortal land we're waiting for you at the dance parties here is the updated event information october 30th to december 4th and you can still claim it uh the events until december 6th and the additional uh, dance added to that. We have adjustments to heroes after Syra just launched, slightly delayed the moment when Syra can be interrupted while firing the light beam, accelerated the starting moves uh, for the ultimate Light's Mercy and Light's Mercy field, optimized the dodge performance by using the ultimates, increased both dodge distance and drift speed, adjusted the light shield of Light's Mercy from fixed 1500 to 1500 in solos duos while 1800 in trios, and then adjusted light shield of Light's Mercy field from a fixed 1200 to 1200 in solos duos while uh, 1500 in trios. For Kylan optimized the sound effects of the ultimate Keelan slash and Keelan slash rend upon triggering Keelan guard and added an audio reminder for the remaining time of the guard. For weapons, unifying adjustments for melee weapon, optimize the pre-input and interrupt typing for transitioning from counter strike to jumping. For katana specifically, fix the issue where clash would sometimes not trigger when the thunder strike vertical strike was hit by other blue focus moves and dual halberds. 
fix the issue where Clash would sometimes not trigger when Hooked Wings was hit by other blue focus moves. In-game adjustments, Immortal War adjustments in round three and four, the duration of the four creature type buff obtained from the spirit will be, be increased from 120 seconds to 150. Um, notes from the devs, if your current four creature type buff is still active, capturing a new spirit well won't grant more effect. Gameplay adjustments for Hungry Dragons. Viperning has joined the Hungry, Hungry Dragons gameplay. So we have one more lovely lady to choose from. Out of game adjustments. Chat optimization added the function message quoting, added quick messaging, added interactive label type hashtags in lobby chat to create a label that other players can tap to quickly send a friend request or party invite. And it adjusted the private chat display. You can now view private messages with other players in recent private messages with friends uh, will be saved locally. New function for custom rooms. Added the option in gameplay settings for custom room martial artist solo. Set different lineup requirements that allow you to specify the requirements for different lineups during the preparation stage. And then for the hair lit that tongue tied today <laughs> uh fairyland Panglide music zone adjustment the details for the adjustments are as follows the default dance move after a dj plays music is now set up uh, as moving dance players can join in by using the interactive button once the dance move is set by the dj other players can press the interactive button to follow the dance along however players cannot follow the dance if the hero cannot perform particular emotes for example some heroes type exclusive jet um, if the DJ has set any dance move nor played any music for a time period, they will automatically exit the time zone after a DJ exits. There's a cooldown. Um, for showdown, we have combat adjustments adjusted to the Omen uh, Miasma Bomb. Um, so it can no longer knock airborne players in focus. Optimize the physical collision effect of Aegis Break of Hundun and add a new toxified omens, miasma pool, and miasma bloom. Function adjustments. The settlement page now features a soul jade deconstruction option, allowing players to deconstruct soul jades right away by tapping the button. Lock and destruction features have been added to the temporary inventory. Uh, setting showdown storage security lock when the showdown storage security lock is enabled unlocking imbuing recasting lock soul jades requires a security lock password so you don't accidentally get rid of anything that you are uh, meant to keep for the store we've got a new yoto hime exclusive pack called longing whispers which contains Yoto's exclusive legendary outfit and greatsword skin and voice pack, which is super exciting. It's on sale for a limited time and Lion exclusive pack Yama, which contains uh, a dual halberds legendary skin and hairstyle, his outfit, all of those together. Um, we've got also Liam's uh, legendary accessory. Uh, it's a newly added discount unlocks new appearance for Liam uh, Ultimate Metal Fusion. Um, so that'll be super exciting. We have Yoto legendary pose, background, base, and a legendary rescue effect. We have Liam epic pose and an epic kill announcement. Um, new store items in the item store. Surmount card Aurora is now available. And can be used to upgrade the hidden treasure of Aurora Season by 30 levels. New items in the Spectral Silk include Yushan's legendary background, um, 2674 Star Seas. Um, limited time items removed. Tessa exclusive pack Ruby Sunray and Tessa legendary outfit. Summer party Ruby Sunray have been removed from the store. And hero related bugs fix the issue where attack counts were incorrectly consumed when Kylan um, launched an attack with Black Gold Sword shortly before Kylan Guard ended. And fix the issue where Cyrus second stage pursuing light beam doesn't stagger the Vajra uh, who was grabbing players through uh, horizontal strike. Like that was November's uh, 14th patch notes 2024. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below what you're most excited for. And if you're excited for Worlds coming up soon. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.